yeah. and I'll work with them against their boss. I think. Did you just catch that fly? No, I missed oh, right. <laughs> Morning. Today we're off to Groundswell. I think Coachella for farmers with a bit less music. It's kind of like a farming conference for soil. It's a lot of fun though. And there's a very good beer tent that goes on late. Obviously, uh, wouldn't be a farmer's break without having to do a farmer's job on the way. It's a farmer thing. Anywho, shall we? It's half past nine and we still haven't got there because we've been sitting in traffic. This is our second year at Groundswell and last year Rob was like, oh, it's so much bigger, it's more popular. This year, it's looking like it's twice the size. Council's gonna be on to next year, isn't it? 100%. Mr. Cherry. The soil festival seems to have got out of hand. There's bloody hippie farmers. Quite cool how much it is growing though, isn't it? I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A bit different to last year, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. If you can, if you can use about three. Hello, Hello. Hello. How are you alright? Hey. Hey, Hello. you getting alright? Right, yeah, good to see you. Tonight's going to be fun though. Yeah, yeah definitely. Night. William yeah, and CJ again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get the conga line there. He's going to play I've Got a Brand New Common well, Harvester 12 times on the beat <laughs> <laughs> to clear the dance floor at 1am. <laughs> <laughs> Entering. Can I can actually sing Morning, sir. Morning, mate. Morning, right. Oh, that was me. All good, thank you. Wonderful stuff. Thanks, Cheers, very much. We are in. Ah. So it's just upset that last year we got like a little bag that come with some bits in it, and she was like, oh, we didn't get one this year. Here they are. Hi. Hi, all right. Morning. I like that. Oh, God, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Making a YouTube. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well done. Thank it's you. Happened. Cheers. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Oh, we'll do. Thanks. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Glamping, here we are. This is different. Glamping. You guys are in tent number 28. Yeah. Before you're going right. to say we're next to the toilet, then I was like, deep, down a dirty on it. Like yeah, yeah. Sweet. Uh, Got colitis. Wow, look at the lamping. This is mad. I told you I can't believe this is huge compared to last year. Tent 28, where the magic happens. <laughs> That's a lot of tent pegs to trip over tonight when I've had a couple of drinks. That's a real toilet. Yeah, oh yeah, there. Been to a wedding with them ones. Boom. Oh my god. How good this is. It's huge. How cool is our glamping tent? So me and Zoe were supposed to be here for three nights, but we're actually only here for one. Because, you know, sheep. So in our Groundwell, Groundswell package, get a little booklet, what's going on, pen and paper. Some Hod Me Dodds roasted yellow peas. Oh, I'm gonna eat them. Ah, oh, smoked paprika. Colitis. What else we got? All sorts of goodies. Magazines, guides. Right. Come on then, I'm ready. I need to go get some breakfast because I haven't eaten. Yeah. I'm a very hungry boy. Right, let's go and have a little look around. What have you got, Rob? Everyone loves a free beef. Oh. Then you fill it up from there. Oh, look, they're doing an asado pig. That's a pig. Drawn straight away to the asado. So you know I do the asado cross of lamb. This is a pig. I haven't been brave enough to do a pig. What we got? Seasonal fire food. It's plant-based though. Food. Lebanese street food, yes. That's that's a bit of meat, that. We got it's sausages. I'll get a bacon and sausage roll, it's sorted. Alright. Can I, do you do just a bacon and sausage roll? Um if we do a bacon and sausage I have to charge you for both bacon roll and a Well I just have a bacon roll in please, yeah? Yeah bacon roll. I shall change for you. Lovely, thanks very much. Oh look, Wednesday breakfast, what are they doing here? You had lamb. Yeah. Lamb McGiz or pork lamb. sausages. Oh. Sorry, Perhaps I chose wrong. Oh, they've got Greek kebabs. Zoe's on the coffee. So dead. Worst food choice. Pizzas. Mm -hmm. Alright, how are we doing? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. 
Where have you been? Beef? Cold cow kebabs. Cider bar. Big old bar down there. So sort of. This is uh, my favourite Kenyan pig farmer. Mr. Flavian. Oh no, look, he's got a bigger camera than me. This is awkward. Uh oh. There's a lot of them. Not everything's about size, mate. Alright, Flavian. What, this, what is that coffee? It's got shock. Hi there, Jamie. How you doing? Mate, your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> Flavian turned up yesterday and it was on the whiskey. <laughs> oh, my God, so bad. <laughs> Therese Coffees. Duchess of Edinburgh's here. But the other one's Therese Coffees. Uh, I know. I see know. the one in the blue coat. That's the one that's in charge of farming in the UK. <laughs> She's a joke. Yeah. What is this? Oh, it's a DJI. Yeah, it's yeah. the same as my drone. Yeah, you can do um, photos, you can do video. More it. camera envy. SG, you know, SG was mad keen on it. Oz over boots. Ed Horton. <laughs> like, we're looking for a, a mobile avatar because it fascinates me and I like the idea of it. Sophie was just telling us where it is and we lost. The back bit. They've hidden it around the back. Uh oh, we're all at Grey Coast Dartmoor's, eh? Apart from me. There they are, look, it's Benji. Benji! That does look like <laughs> <laughs> Movable slaughter unit, here we go. Here we go, this fascinates me quite a lot because we don't have this over here very much. But I know of, I don't know of us having it over here actually. Are we allowed to go in it? Am I allowed to just walk up here? I want to see, are they gonna do one This could be a bit awkward. Are we allowed in? Oh, we can come in. How are we doing? Gentleman's nearly finished, I'm afraid. Oh no, really? Well, I'm sure of it. Just making a YouTube video. Oh, right, carry on. Fascinated. <laughs> I can really you go in a minute. Just like, no, 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 okay. Wow. Wow, it's involved, isn't it? Yeah, you'd have to have the vet, yeah. 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 You could get your neighbours though, couldn't you? Like, you could, yeah, and do like a group. Yeah. Hopefully we can do an avatar tour in a minute. The wrong ones. It would be a lot. Oh, no. That's what we want to find out. We're still waiting We're for... Waiting for the chat back. Chris, we... Should, we, should, we, should we just go all in? Maybe? I think we should, mate. I'm trying to work out where the thing is. The hook there. The high pulley. Oh, yeah, that's the pulley there. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that will skin it there. Yeah. And then, then yeah. I used to work in avatars as a vet, as a, a inspection, meat inspector. Uh, really? Ah. Yeah, yeah, fine. But not in mobile ones. Yeah. No, you've never, have you ever worked in a mobile one? Would you? Did you know there was mobile ones in the I UK? I don't work in that anymore, but... Uh, I mean, they have a few in America. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense for farmers. It makes yeah. massive sense, doesn't it? Massive sense. It's just getting rid of it, isn't it? The yeah. pleasant things, because they won't be able to take it with so them. So this, like, this is what we were just saying about the disposal yeah. of... What do you do? And we're saying the cost that the government yeah, charge for the vet yeah. inspections yeah, in the abattoirs is, it, is yeah. outrageous. Is oh, it? Teresa yeah. Hopkins, but, but should we ask her? Yeah, well, she's outside. Get her in it. Get her in it. That would be funny. That would make a good YouTube. Cornered in a mobile avatar. So we're just trying to work out. This is the unit here. It's a fair size, actually, isn't it? Wow. Wow, I didn't realise how big it was actually from the inside. We're really struggling for avatars in the UK and if we can set one of these up, just one a county. Um, we can't understand why you can't. Here he is. Yeah. Yay! Here he is. We're about to find out. We've been making it up as we go along. Okay, good, good. I haven't tried today. So, uh, no. I am, I am the Luke's market for farmers. Sorry mate. Um, but no, it's, it's going to be like Lady Jane Parker, who's the chairwoman of the Sustainable Food Trust, the oh, yeah. farm. Uh, but I got it licensed for her because I've spent 30 years dealing with food standards agency and actually understand what they want and speak oh, yeah. their language. So, and their boss, you're our mutual enemy, you see what I mean? So yeah. I work with them against their boss. Think, yeah. Did you just catch that fly? No, I'm oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say, I think I got that on camera today. I'll talk you through how it works. You, what you need, this is, it's called a mobile slaughterhouse. It's not, it's a movable slaughterhouse. It's not that mobile. It's expensive to move it. Uh, but the ramp which goes alongside of it is absolutely dreadful and takes hours to put up and take down again. Uh, you need a layerage, a dirty water handling system, somewhere to take the offal, uh, and a fridge. That fridge isn't big enough to take a full day's killing. Um, but it's almost there, almost. I think there's a lot of good things here. It's, it's too tight to do bullocks effectively. It's yeah. hard work. But the flip side is 
if you've got nobody to do bullocks for you, it's better to have something which isn't as, isn't brilliant, but nothing. Yeah. And, and you know, this is this sort of philosophical point that is that it should not be lost. Um, so we reckon we can kill five to five to ten bullocks a day in it, probably when it's really going. I think that's optimistic. I think it's closer to five than ten at the moment. Um, part of the problem is that this drum is the angle is too acute, so you're yeah. pulling, you're you're stripping the fibre that's yeah. the skin coming off. Sheep, it's a superb sheep. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely How many sheep can you get? I reckon fifty to sixty. We haven't yeah. Yeah. done it yet, but, but, but we knock them through so fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, so pigs yeah. probably. 30 to 45. Same here. I don't know if it's because I'm making speeches. Oh, look out. So you go up and do your openings up here, you climb up there, which is not near as much fun, and do your openings up there. Put the chain on it, wow. and it goes, skin goes out through the, uh, the flap on the side there into an ADP bin, and, and then once the skin's off, you shove it along. Oh, well, actually. Uh, first, first of all, you do your openings yeah. and, and, and do your inspection in that tray there. Once the vet's happy, but it's passed. So working that's the problem in it. The vet. I was going to say they subsidise smaller they companies, don't they? Yeah. Okay. And I don't mind that because yeah. effectively, if I didn't have them checking on me, then yeah. I have, to have a subsidised independent audit on everything you do, yeah, yeah. he's going to complain about yeah. that. Yeah. Really. How much did it cost? That was my question. 250,000. I really, I thought it would be a lot more. You said half a million. I was quite shocked actually. So, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> How to empty the show ground. Yeah. <laughs> Pasture for life. So this is an accreditation we're sort of looking at getting. I haven't got any accreditations. I don't do any. Do you do all the... Um... We've gone Pasture for life, but we're not accredited. We've just gone in the scheme so I can find out a bit more about it. Mm. Why are you interviewing me all the time? <laughs> Why not? It's good. <laughs> Do you think, like, it looks like a professional farmer, look at him. Like. He's even got a diary now. 55, 100, 100, 100. 100. <laughs> 80, 80, 80. This is what I made. He's, he's even got the diary. Yeah. Made What's this it? So, oh, what, well, it picks the bear up? Yeah, it goes in the back of the pot. Yeah, but I didn't make one that good. Mine's wobbly. No, yeah, yeah. But it's, it does a job too. though. Ah, she does a job. Yeah, that's all right. So you can roll out the bale? Yeah. Feed. Bale of hay in the winter. Take it from yeah. the yard. Do they clear a lot of that up? They must have. Yeah, smash yeah. it, mate. It's class. My sleep in it or whatever. Yeah, but that's yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. You've got some dry tonight, isn't it? Yeah. So you're thinking about being certified? Mm. It's the only accreditation I've ever thought of getting. Yeah, it's round the back. Really good. We'll come with you. Yeah, we'd like. Yeah, why not? Well, What's we'll going on back there? Back there. there you Did you get that? I yeah, mean, a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit, but I can cut it out. It's not. <laughs> then what do you do? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I know what you do. Straight away, everyone just <laughs> <laughs> off. Like straight away. Yeah. No. Go on, I'll turn it off. Come on, this is perfect. And well, that's a shitty looking beer. Are you going to give me like a? This is where you get the kiss when you come back out. I bet I should have put a shirt on. Yeah. Do you want to lend mine? <laughs> have, have, have my chinos. Alice, explain what you do. Oh, so am I being filmed? You are now. Uh, great. <laughs> Look at you, you owe me uh, money for this. We are British pasture leather, so we're producing leather from the hides of certified um, cattle farms from Pasture for Life. We are capturing some of the farmers that are part of our network in our makeshift um, farm festival photo booth so that we can share some of their stories with people who work with leather. And maybe swing, put your knees together so you can take your hand off your... <laughs> it, smells, it smells really nice, isn't it? Yeah. That side. Yeah, yeah, like that. Right, then look. Yeah, yeah. now I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed career you had, isn't it? Look at girlfriend. Old school as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Old school, school pose, Chris. Come yeah. on. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> she's run out. She's run out of coal. We need to pump her up a bit. How many pictures you had today? Do you want to sit on my lap? This Chris? is the first time he's making a <laughs> most. This is my cameraman, Harry. Um, <laughs> Eight years in uni. He's done a, in sports science. Oh, I'll tell you, I just met in the toilet. Oh. Hello, I'm back. So we are back from Groundswell. I had all the great intentions of doing a really good whole weekend tour of Groundswell. It's quite hard to do a YouTube video there because it's one of those places that you meet really interesting people and really good contacts and we're always on the lookout for farm tenancies and 
um, people to work with and things like that. And uh, it's a bit much just shoving a camera in their face. So I didn't get a lot of YouTube dub. And then Groove Armada were playing on a DJ set that night. We had a bit to drink, went to bed very, very late. I was very hungover yesterday. I didn't fancy doing any YouTube at all. So uh, maybe next year, but on the grounds while well talk, it's just basically a, a festival about nature friendly and more environmentally friendly farming practices. Some really good people doing some really cool stuff. And they put all the talks, because it's basically like six tents where people go and talk and explain what they're doing and their panels and things like that. And they put all of them up on YouTube. So if you fancy seeing any of them, a little YouTube of, of Groundswell. But yeah, maybe next year we'll make an actual good YouTube. Who knows? Maybe. Anywho, thanks for watching. Till next time.